Seton Hall University is a private Roman Catholic university in South Orange, New Jersey. Founded in 1856 by then Bishop James Roosevelt Bailey and named after his aunt, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, Seton Hall is the oldest diocesan university in the United States. Seton Hall consists of 11 schools and colleges with an undergraduate enrollment of about 5,800 students and a graduate enrollment of about 4,400. History <laughs> Early history Like many Catholic universities in the United States, Seton Hall arose out of the Plenary Council of American Bishops, held in Baltimore, Maryland, in 1844, with the goal of bringing Catholicism to higher education in order to help propagate the faith. The Diocese of Newark had been established by Pope Pius IX in 1853, just three years before the founding of the college, and it necessitated an institution for higher learning. Seton Hall College was formally founded on September 1, 1856, by Newark Bishop James Roosevelt Bailey, a cousin of President Theodore Roosevelt. Bishop Bailey named the institution after his aunt, Mother Elizabeth Ann Seton, who was later named the first American-born Catholic saint. The main campus was originally in Madison, New Jersey. Reverend Bernard J. McQuaid served as the first college president 1856 1859–1868 and directed a staff of four diocesan clergy including Reverend Alfred Young, Vice President, Reverend Daniel Fisher the second college president, 1857–1859 and five lay instructors. Initially, Seton Hall had only five students, Leo G. Thebo, Louis and Alfred Boisorben, Peter Meehan and John Moore. By the end of the first year, the student body had grown more than tenfold to sixty. The college moved to its current location in 1860. By the 1860s, Seton Hall College was continuing its rapid growth and began to enroll more and more students each year. However, among other difficulties, several fires on campus slowed down the growth process. The first of several strange fires in the university's history occurred in 1867 which destroyed the college's first building. Two decades later on March 9, 1886, another fire destroyed the university's main building. In the 20th century, another campus fire burned down a classroom as well as several dormitory buildings in 1909. During the 19th century, despite setbacks, financially tight times and the American Civil War, the college continued to expand. Seton Hall opened a military science department forerunner to the ROTC program during the summer of 1893, but this program was ultimately disbanded during the Spanish–American War. Perhaps one of the most pivotal events in the history of Seton Hall came in 1897 when Seton Hall's preparatory high school and college undergraduate divisions were permanently separated. By 1937, Seton Hall established a university college. This marked the first matriculation of women at Seton Hall. Seton Hall became fully coeducational in 1968. In 1948, Seton Hall was given a license by the FCC for WSOUFM. The college was organized into a university in 1950 following an unprecedented growth in enrollment. The College of Arts and Sciences and the Schools of Business, Nursing and Education comprised the university. The School of Law opened its doors in 1951, with Miriam Rooney as the first woman dean of law in the United States. College of Medicine and Dentistry The Seton Hall College of Medicine and Dentistry was established in 1954 as the first medical school and dental school in New Jersey. It was located in Jersey City, adjacent to the Jersey City Medical Center, which was used for clinical education. Although the college, set up under the auspices of the Archdiocese of Newark, was a separate legal entity from the university, it had an interlocking board of trustees. The first class was enrolled in 1956 and graduated in 1960. The dental school also awarded its first degrees in 1960. From 1960 to 1964, 348 individuals received an MD degree. 
The college was sold to the state of New Jersey in 1965 for $4 million after the Archdiocese could not support mounting school debt and renamed the New Jersey College of Medicine and Dentistry which became the New Jersey Medical School, part of the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey. That entity became part of the Rutgers University System in 2013 and now exists as the Rutgers New Jersey Medical School. Seton Hall established a new school of medicine in partnership with Hackensack University Health Network in 2015. Topic: <laughs> Modernization period. Beginning in the late 1960s and continuing in the next two decades, the university saw the construction and modernization of a large number of facilities and the construction of the library, science building, residence halls and the university center. Many new programs and majors were inaugurated, as were important social outreach efforts. New ties were established with the private and industrial sectors, and a growing partnership developed with federal and state governments in creating programs for the economically and educationally disadvantaged. The 1970s and 1980s continued to be a time of growth and renewal. New business and nursing classroom buildings and an art center were opened. In 1984, the Immaculate Conception Seminary returned to Seton Hall, its original home until 1926, when it moved to Darlington a section of Marwa centered on a grand mansion and estate. The Recreation Center was dedicated in 1987. With the construction of four new residence halls between 1986 and 1988, and the purchase of an off-campus apartment building in 1990, the university made significant changes to account for a larger number of student residents. Seton Hall is recognized as a residential campus, providing living space for about 2,100 students. The physical development of the campus continued in the 1990s. The $20 million Walsh Library opened in 1994, and its first class study and research resources marked the beginning of a technological transformation of Seton Hall. The university dedicated its newest academic center in 1997, originally named Kozlovsky Hall for Denis Kozlovsky, former CEO of Tyco International. Renamed Jubilee Hall following Kozlovsky's criminal conviction in 2005, the building is a clear example of Seton Hall's commitment to expanding the role of information technology in higher education. All classrooms in this six-story, 126,000-square-foot building are wired for network and internet connections, and many of the lecture halls are equipped with distance learning technology. Its recreation center was originally named after Robert Brennan, but he was found guilty of securities fraud in 1994. It has since been renamed for longtime athletic director Richie Regan. A new school of law building and parking garage were also constructed in the 1990s as part of the revitalization of downtown Newark. Seton Hall continues to be a leader in technology in education, as well as in distance learning, with its renowned Seton Worldwide program. In 1998, all incoming full-time, first-year students were issued laptop computers as part of the university's innovative and nationally recognized mobile computing program. The Boland Hall fire On January 19, 2000, an arson fire killed three and injured 54 students in Boland Hall, a freshman residence hall on the campus in South Orange. The incident, one of the deadliest in recent U.S. history, occurred at 4.30 a.m., when most students were asleep. After a three-and-a-half-year investigation, a 60-count indictment charged two freshman students, Sean Ryan and Joseph Lepore, with starting the fire and felony murder for the deaths that resulted. Lepore and Ryan pleaded guilty to third-degree arson and were sentenced to five years in a youth correctional facility with eligibility for parole 16 months after the start of their prison terms. Consequently, the student body dedicated an area in front of Boland Hall to those that suffered from the fire called the Remember Seal, and stronger university fire safety precautions were instituted. Sesquicentennial 
On the 150th anniversary 1856 to 2006 of the university's founding, Seton Hall initiated the Ever Forward Capital campaign to raise a total of $150 million. The campaign was the most prestigious building campaign in the university's long history. The funds were directed to many areas throughout the university, however a majority went toward building and reconstructing campus facilities and historic sites. In fall 2007, the university opened the new $35 million Science and Technology Center, completing one of the major campaign priorities ahead of schedule. On December 17, 2007, the university announced that the campaign's fund-raising goals had been met and exceeded more than two weeks ahead of the campaign's scheduled closing date. Topic: 2010 present. The university has completed a host of campus renovations and new construction while attracting more and better students. An initial round of improvements totaling nearly $100 million concluded in 2014 with the opening of a new fitness center now open, academic building, parking garage and expanded Aquinas Hall dormitory now open. A second round of construction is planned for 2016 and beyond, which will add's visitors Halston Hall announced the formation of two additional academic units in 2015 the School of Medicine and the College of Communication and the Arts. The medical school, which is expected to open in 2017 in partnership with Hackensack Meridian Health, will be one of six Catholic medical schools in the United States and should address a shortage of primary care physicians in New Jersey and the surrounding region. The College of Communication and the Arts was a department in the College of Arts and Sciences before being elevated in the summer of 2015. Topic: <laughs> Governance. <laughs> 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 The university, legally incorporated as Seton Hall University, an educational corporation of New Jersey, is governed by a 16-member board of trustees. Eleven members of the board serve on it as a virtue of their positions within the university or archdiocese of Newark. The Archbishop of Newark, who serves as the president of the board, retains the power to appoint the remaining five members of the body. Appointed members of the board serve three-year terms, until their respective successor is appointed. The Board of Trustees exclusively maintains the property rights of the university and provides selection of title, scope, and location of the schools and colleges of the university. The governance of the university includes a Board of Regents, which is charged with the management of the university. The board has a membership of between 25 and 39 members. Six of the members are ex officio, the Board of Trustees maintains the right to elect up to 30 more. Regents maintain the exclusive hiring authority over the President of the University. Previous by-laws of the University stipulated that the President must be a Roman Catholic priest. It was announced on 4 February 2019, that effective 1 August 2019, the new president will be Joseph E. N. Y. R. E., Ph.D., currently serving as president of Iona College, New Rochelle, New York. Campus Main campus The main campus of Seton Hall University is situated on 58 acres 23 hectares of suburban land on South Orange Avenue. It is home to nine of the ten schools and colleges of the university. The South Orange Village Center is just one half mile .8 kilometers west of the main campus. Directly across from the main campus to the northwest are scenic Montrose Park and the Montrose Park Historic District, which is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The Eugene V. Kelly Carriage House, on the campus itself, is also NRHP listed. The village itself dates back to 1666 preceding the establishment of Seton Hall College. Also since the beginning of the college, the South Orange Rail Station has served as an integral means to campus commuters. The main campus combines architectural styles including Roman, Neo-Gothic and Modern. The South Orange campus became a gated community during the university's modernization period. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Buildings. The original centerpieces of the campus were made up of three buildings built in the 19th century. Presidents, Stafford and Marshall Halls were built when the college moved from Madison to South Orange. Some of the more notable buildings on campus are President's Hall, one of the oldest buildings on campus and a flagship of the university, President's Hall was completed in 1867. Located at the epicenter of the main campus, President's Hall is a neo-Gothic structure dressed in brownstone. It originally served as a seminary but now houses the university's administration including the office of the university president. The halls are lined with portraits of past university presidents and include a large stained glass depicting St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, which was commissioned in 1866 by President Bailey. Chapel of the Immaculate Conception, the handsome Gothic Revival brownstone building was designed by architect Jeremiah O'Rourke, who later designed the Cathedral of Newark. The chapel was built in 1863 and dedicated in 1870. Major renovations were completed in 1972 and most recently in 2008. The 2008 renovation was a primary component of Seton Hall's comprehensive Ever Forward fundraising campaign. In 2013, the chapel landed at number 24 on BuzzFeed's survey of 31 insanely beautiful colleges you can get married at and was ranked at number 28 the following year on College Ranker's list of the 50 most beautiful college campus wedding venues. Stafford Hall, in 2014, a new academic building rose on the site of the former Stafford Hall, an outdated structure that had been a campus fixture since the 19th century. Bearing the name of its predecessor, the new Stafford Hall features 12 classrooms of multiple sizes, nine of which can accommodate 35 students each, while the remaining rooms include two large classrooms that can hold 70 and 50 students apiece and one smaller room for 25 students. Fitness Center, a new fitness center opened in January 2014 as part of the Ritchie Regan Recreation and Athletic Center. The center occupies three levels of the building and includes spa-like locker rooms, various weight training stations, 75 cardio machines and two dance studios, where more than 30 fitness classes—Zumba, spinning, body combat, Pilates, aerobics and yoga—take place weekly. Each of the cardio stations features a personal HDTV monitor with internet access that can sync up with a mobile device, and a wide selection trail workout set in locations around the world. McQuaid Hall, built around 1900, it was named for Bishop Bernard J. McQuaid, Seton Hall's first president from 1856 to 1857 and 1859 to 1867. McQuaid Hall was both a boarding house for students and a convent for nuns before serving its present purpose as the home of the School of Diplomacy and International Relations as well as the Seton Hall University School of Health and Medical Sciences. Jubilee Hall houses the W. Paul Stillman School of Business in addition to the largest auditorium at the university. There are several computer labs, state-of-the-art classrooms and a stock exchange research room. The building was originally named Kozlovsky Hall after Denis Kozlovsky, Seton Hall alumni and former CEO of Tyco International. Following Kozlovsky's conviction for securities fraud the building was renamed at his request to Jubilee Hall in honor of the Papal Jubilee. Built in 1997, it is one of the newer additions to the main campus. Walsh Gymnasium is a multi-purpose arena for university sports. The arena opened in 1939 and can seat 2,600 people. It was home to the Seton Hall University Pirates men's basketball team before they moved to Continental Airlines Arena and then the Prudential Center. Currently, the arena hosts the women's basketball and volleyball teams, and is part of the Ritchie Regan Recreation and Athletic Center. The building, like the school's main library, is named for Thomas J. Walsh, 5th Bishop of Newark and former President of the Board of Trustees. McNulty Hall, named for Monsignor. John L. McNulty, President of the University from 1949 to 1959, McNulty Hall was built as the university's Technology and Research Center in 1954. One of the most famous features of the building is the Atom Wall a relief artwork originally located on outer facade. 
Following renovations completed in the summer of 2007, the atom wall, depicting the gift of scientific knowledge from God to man, can be seen in the glass atrium of the building. McNulty also houses a large amphitheater and observatory for the chemistry, physics and biology departments. Fahey Hall, built in 1968, the building houses the classrooms and faculty offices of the College of Arts and Sciences. The building was named after Monsignor Thomas George Fahey who served as president of the university from 1970 to 1976. Fahey Hall includes several student resources and facilities, including two television studios, two amphitheaters and laboratories for computing, language learning, and statistics. Arts and Sciences Hall and the Nursing Building, originally built to house the Stillman School of Business in 1973, with the creation of Jubilee Hall in 1997, the building is now home to the College of Arts and Sciences in the West Wing and the Caroline D. Schwartz College of Nursing in the East Wing. The College of Nursing has advanced teaching facilities including hospital beds, demonstration rooms and multi-purpose practice areas. Bethany Hall, the most recent addition to the campus, Bethany Hall, also known as the Welcome Center, opened in February 2018. It has event space that can hold 500 to 700 people and holds admissions offices. Topic: <laughs> Sustainability. Seton Hall's extensive recycling program is one of the highlights in the college's sustainability programming. Recycling is mandatory on campus as per New Jersey state laws. Additionally, Seton Hall celebrated Earth Day 2010, marking the event with demonstrations about composting and rainwater collection, a group hike, and an outdoor screening of the environmental documentary, Home. On the College Sustainability Report Card 2011, Seton Hall earned a grade of B. Lack of endowment transparency and green building initiatives hurt the grade, while the recycling programs were a plus. <laughs> Newark campus A satellite of the main campus, the Newark campus is home to the university's School of Law. Located at one Newark Center, the law school and several academic centers of the university are housed in a modern 22-story skyscraper building. It is at the corner of Raymond Boulevard and McCarter Highway in the business and high-tech heart of downtown Newark, New Jersey and was completed in 1991. The Newark campus building provides 210,000 square feet square meters and an additional 65,000 square feet square meters of library to the university. The Seton Hall University School of Law was founded in 1951. It is accredited by the American Bar Association since 1951 and is also a member of the Association of American Law Schools. AALS. Seton Hall is one of two law schools in the state of New Jersey. Seton Hall Law was founded by a woman, Miriam T. Rooney, who served as dean from 1951 to 1961. She was not only Seton Hall's first female dean, but was the first woman dean at an ABBA-accredited law school in the United States. Dean Kathleen M. Buzang, who assumed the role in July 2015, is the third woman dean of Seton Hall Law. Academics Seton Hall University confers undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate degrees in as many as 70 academic fields. The school's academic programs are divided into 11 academic units. Topic rankings Seton Hall University was ranked by U.S. News & World Report in 2017 at tied for 118th in the National Universities category. Seton Hall University School of Law ranked 59th best in the nation in 2019. The Stillman School of Business was ranked 78th of 132 undergraduate business schools in the nation by Bloomberg Businessweek in 2014. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student life. Topic. Greek life 24 recognized fraternity and sorority chapters are chartered at Seton Hall. 
About 15% of the student body are members of a Greek letter organization. Fraternities at Seton Hall include Sororities include In fall 2005, a group of students purporting to be an unrecognized chapter of Tau Kappa Epsilon made headlines when it was discovered that a pledge had been kidnapped and beaten for alerting university administration of the group's existence. A cappella groups The Gentlemen of the Hall all male. Pretty S hashtag ARP all female. Seton Notes co -ed. Topic: Student media The school's principal newspaper is the Setonian. The paper has school news, an entertainment section called Pirate Life, sports, editorials, and an opinion section. The staff consists of undergraduates and publishers weekly on Thursday. The Stillman Exchange is the Stillman Business School's newspaper. Its stories cover ethical issues, business, and athletic stories. The Journal of Diplomacy and International Relations is a bi-annually published journal composed of writings by international leaders in government, the private sector, academia, and non-governmental organizations. The Liberty Bell, is the only political and independent newspaper on campus. Founded in 2007, it is published monthly and features news and op-ed articles about university, local, national, and international news with a focus on personal freedom. The Liberty Bell won the Collegiate Network's 2008-2009 award for Best New Paper, an award given to student newspapers no older than three years. WSOU is a non-commercial, college radio station, broadcasting at 89.5 MHz FM. The station broadcasts from the campus of Seton Hall University in South Orange, New Jersey. It is a student-run station with general manager Mark Mabin at helm as a full-time faculty member. WSOU currently broadcasts in HD radio. In 2007, the Princeton Review rated WSOU as the eighth best college radio station in the nation. Industry Magazine also ranked WSOU to be the top metal format station in the nation in 2007, and Rolling Stone Magazine ranked WSOU to be one of the top five rock stations in the nation in 2008. Seton Hall's television station, Pirate TV, is located in the basement of Fahey Hall. Programming includes a daily news show and weekly sports talk and fashion, entertainment shows. Traditions University seal The university seal combines attributes from the Bailey coat of arms and the Seton family crest. The Seton crest dates back as early as 1216 and symbolizes Scottish nobility. Renowned crest maker, William F. J. Ryan designed the current form of the Seton Hall crest, which is notable for its three crescents and three torto. The motto on the seal Hazard Zet forward, Hazard Zit forward on some versions is a combination of Norman French and archaic English meaning at whatever risk, yet go forward. Part custom and part superstition, students avoid stepping on an engraving of the seal in the middle of the university green. It is said that students who step on the seal will not graduate on time. <laughs> Alma mater The Seton Hall University Alma mater was adopted as the official song of Seton Hall University. Charles A. Byrne of the class of 1937 wrote the original lyrics in 1936 and the university adopted the alma mater during the 1937 school year when the dean first read it to the student body. Some students participate in the tradition of saying, "'Blue and White' more loudly than the rest of the alma mater. Lyrics to Alma Mater all be loyal keep her name in purest light never waver from her precepts guard her banner blue and white o, sing her praise to highest skies, and be ye faithful in her eyes for she will foster all your dreams her name is Seton Hall her name is Seton Hall. Topic. Fight song Onward Setonia 
is Seton Hall's fight song and it is played by the University Pep Band at all home men's and women's basketball games, usually as the team comes onto the court and at the end of the first half and at the end of the game. Lyrics chorus Onward Setonia, we are bound for victory hazard ZET forward, we will honor that decree onward Setonia, stand up proud and stand up tal fight. Fight. Fight, for the blue and white and the glory of Seton Hall. Chant S, H, U, 2 X S, H, U Repeat chorus Topic Athletics The school's sports teams are called the Pirates. They participate in the NCAA's Division I and in the Big East Conference. The college established its first basketball squad in 1903. Seton Hall Athletics is best known for its men's basketball program, which won the 1953 National Invitation Tournament with a 1989 NCAA tournament national runners up following a defeat to Michigan in the final, 80 79 in overtime, and a New Jersey's most successful representative during March Madness by number of wins. Seton Hall also fields varsity teams in baseball, women's basketball, men's and women's cross-country running, men's and women's golf, men's and women's soccer, softball, men's and women's swimming and diving, women's tennis, and women's volleyball. Seton Hall also has club programs participating in ice hockey, rugby union, lacrosse, and men's volleyball and soccer. All Seton Hall sports have their home field on the South Orange campus except for the men's basketball team which currently plays at the Prudential Center in Newark after previously calling the Meadowlands home, and the club ice hockey team which plays at Richard J. Cody Arena in West Orange. Seton Hall fielded its first varsity football program from 1882 until cancellation in 1932. The university later fielded a club football team from 1965 through 1972. In 1972, the football team won a national club championship. The next year, 1973, it was reinstated as a varsity program competing at the Division III level as the university aligned its other varsity teams with the original Big East Conference in 1979. Football was ultimately cancelled in permanence after the 1981 season. During this final period of varsity football sponsorship, the team was coached by Ed Manigan equals equals notable faculty and alumni